so I'm pretty sure that everybody knows that the new Dark Eater is not as good as the first one. And even though Season 3 didn't add anything new on paper, there were some hidden changes, specifically to this map, that makes it a bit better and a bit more basically rewarding I'll say. It doesn't compare with the hidden rooms like we had in the first one where you can get wonder weapons or power-ups but it's something similar. You know that infested stronghold that was advertised as the biggest one ever in the Call of Duty zombie game and that didn't really have any loot in it? Guess what? They actually made a hidden change and actually put some loot crates in there and it's actually worth it to go inside and clear it. The rewards, well, I don't know what you're gonna get. I, I did clear it a few times. I got some decent stuff, but you know what? Today, we're gonna go in there again, and I want to show you guys what to expect from this place. On paper, it looks pretty amazing, but let's see what we can get. I do have my trusty haymaker. Loadout is gonna be on the screen right now for all of you guys to use if you want. And I'm not gonna lie, this thing is still an absolute monster. But let me just clear some of these zombies first. I really love the way this, this game looks with all these uh, lights up here. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. If there's one thing I love about the Dark Aether Rifts, it's it's just the way it looks. It's absolutely fantastic. And let's not talk about the skybox. That thing is phenomenal. But, okay, I think it's finally time to go inside here. Because if I sit here and outside and uh, I just kill zombies, it's going to take forever. Of course, we're going to do the other contracts as well, because why not? Uh, I decided to go in the normal one because I didn't really see a big difference in loot between the normal and the elder. But again, here is subject change. It could be different for everybody. You could be extremely lucky or extremely unlucky. And, you know, with my luck, it's probably going to be horrible. Anyways, let's hop inside here. We do have to take out, I think, 15 cysts, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get to work. It's going to be a bit of a pain jump, painful jump to do. Not going to lie. These zombies can be extremely, extremely annoying. And, you know, the cysts are located in some weird freaking spots. Not gonna lie. Okay, so this is the middle area. Basically, this is where the loot chests are. And what I like is to go downstairs, clear the downstairs part, and then go upstairs. And always, always pay attention to your, to your gas mask. We got an ammo cache right here. I do have a Wonder Wolf. You know, before I came here, I, I had to regain because my game crashed. And guess what? Mr. Mega Abominations, I mean, two of them in a row, gave me two Wonder Weapons. I mean, two Wonder Wolves. So I definitely don't complain. I'm pretty sure I have a circuit. Yes. Alright, that's definitely gonna help a bit, maybe. This place can get very, very hectic very, very fast. So definitely try to, to do everything as quick as possible. You don't want to sit in here for too long. There we go. There's another one. Another one there. Another one there. Okay, I think there's an ammo cache right here. Yes, there is. Perfect. Now we have to go down this corridor. Clear some more cysts. This Wonder Wolf, on, uh, this Wonder Wolf is just so nice. Okay, we do have some more upstairs here. One there. There. Perfect. That's a mimic, 100%. Yep, I knew it. These guys can be very tricky. First time I thought there were going to be like the loot boxes that you actually get in here, but nope, they weren't. Alright, there we go. We cleared it. Actually, it was a lot faster than I expected. Not gonna lie, a lot faster than I expected. So let's go and check out the rewards. We've been here only a few minutes. We do have plenty of time to do the contract as well. Also, guys, let me know what kind of loot you get if you go in here. Let me know what you get. Okay, first of all, turret. Absolutely horrible. We get a Casimir. Absolutely horrible. Okay, we get an epic tool and stamina up. I'm not going to pick stamina up. I don't need it. And then we have another one up here. And we get the Elemental Pop, and another one here, and we get a Blue Tool and Shadow Blast. So, we got what? One, two, three, four, five boxes. And, well, it's pretty disappointing to say the least. It's pretty darn disappointing. I, I did manage to get some better stuff some other times. I did get like three epic tools out of those. 
and a lot more perks and stuff like that but i don't know i, I feel like there should have been at least one legendary thing in there but you know what? there's still plenty of things to do in here so we're gonna go and uh and do those contracts i'm gonna start with extractors i do have a lot of casimirs with me ready so we're definitely gonna do that and let's get it okay so i got myself the extractors contract this is not gonna be very hard if you have uh if you have Casimirs with you, this thing is a walk in the park. One of the easiest contracts in the game. Although it can be a bit tricky at the end, you know, to get the reward. If you don't have decoys or your uh, your power up, it can be pretty annoying because there's going to be a million zombies that will spawn in. There we go. One thing I hate about the Casimirs is the fact that doggos don't get attracted to it. These doggos are pretty, pretty annoying, you know. There you go, throw another one there, go this side. I mean, this literally took us less than a minute. Fast, easy, and we get... Oh, we actually get a Flawless. I'll definitely take that. All right, next up, we do have Outlast, which is up here. Let's go pick it up and I'll see you at the contract. Okay, here we go, Outlast contract. I feel like for the Dark Aether, the Wonder Wolf is pretty much the best Wonder Weapon. There's so many freaking zombies in here, it's ridiculous, and the Wonder Wolf just... I mean, just makes quick use of them. Look at this. Get a huge horde pile up together, and then just shoot one, one bullet, basically. And they're all dead. It does have quite of a slow reload, but... Nonetheless, this thing is absolutely fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite Wonder Weapons in the game. I do really love the Scorcher, because I know a lot of people are going to say, Hey, the Scorcher is the best. I do really love the Scorcher, but the Scorcher is only good because you can, you know, fly around the map with it. Other than that, I, I feel like the Scorcher is pretty overrated. Disciple absolutely demolished. The reload is, is quite painful though on this quite quite painful and what's best about it is the fact that you don't have to actually pack a bunch into three you can pack it to one there we go we get an insta kill let me switch to my gun actually the haymaker is just such an amazing weapon as well definitely one of the easiest guns to use in the game because it's not as restricted as the lockwood with the Lockwood, if you wanted to do the most amount of damage and you wanted to be, you know, really effective with it, you did have to ADS all the time. But with this, you can just hold mouse one and it's gonna do the job for you, basically. I mean, just look at this, it's so easy to use. Okay, what do we get? VR11, Speed Cola, I'm not gonna need any of those. Alright, and now for the grand finale, of course, we're gonna go for the Mr hvd contract so let's get it i'm gonna search for a rift first though okay here we have mr mega abomination hvd oh my god there's a nuke how lucky can i get actually this is the first time i get an hvd mega abomination here usually this is kind of the disciple ish area although that guy is like all the way up on the hills i don't think i should use my my juggernaut for this guy i can just sit up here Rain down fire on him. I mean, look how much damage this thing is doing. Look how much damage. Come on, buddy. How about you laser one more time? There we go. Second head is off. And for the third one, I do have a very nice thing for you. Hold on to that. There we go. Contract complete. Let's see what we get. That's a big backpack. Juggernog or something. Alright, I'm going to have to use one of my monkeys here. There. Go for that. Ow. Man, this hurts. And let's see what's in the thing. We get another epic tool, blood burner key. Uh, nothing very interesting. I'll say that. Nothing very interesting. But I think it's time to get the heck out of here. And there is an exfil at the police station. Which is just right there. So let's go for it. Oh, I actually pinged it somehow. It's kind of weird that you can you can ping stuff on the map, even though when you look at it, it doesn't doesn't work. It's, it's jammed. It's like a jammer in the air. 
nonetheless, this is gonna be it, guys. We didn't really get many good things. I mean, we did get a flawless, but other than that, mm, it's cool that they actually finally added loot to that place because, well, imagine adding a, the biggest stronghold and not have loot, but the loot is very underwhelming. To be honest very very underwhelming anyways thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this if you did like and subscribe for more and let me know in the comments your experience with this and i'll see you in the next one bye bye